So here is the next boat project that I picked up. This is a Baycraft 155 skiff. It's a pretty nice setup. It came with the trolling motor. There's storage compartments in here. It has a Yamaha 70. Apparently, I was told that the motor has low compression. I haven't checked up on it, but we're gonna check that out. Uh, this looks like it, to be a live well. And there's no internal fuel tank. Uh, it's just external, which is nice. It's not a bad little boat. Trailer is in decent condition. My plan is if the motor has low compression, I'm gonna swap it out with a Yamaha four stroke 70 that I have laying around. So this is the first time of me opening the hood on this engine and it looks like someone removed the head gasket. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take the head off and we're gonna see the condition of the head and the pistons and I don't know, maybe I'll throw a head gasket in, we'll see. So we're looking at the head and it looks like it's in good, ooh, actually no, the top one. Look at the spark plug. Let me look at the top cylinder. Something. It doesn't look scored up or anything, but this spark plug just has something on it. I don't know. Look at that. I don't know what that is, but it's not supposed to be there. So I decided that I'm gonna go ahead. I had some gaskets laying around. Here's the head gasket. Here's the old one. Um, just gonna clean it up, put the head back on, and uh, hope that she has good compression. So I'm getting ready. I'm gonna put the head gasket on and the head, and we're gonna torque all the bolts. So I went ahead and it did a compression check and the compression did come up, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to remove this engine because it looks like one of the bearings, on, you're probably on the crankshaft or something, uh, is falling apart. Motor runs really good, but if you can look in the spark plug, you can't really see, but look at that. That's metal bits coming out of the spark plugs. So the motor is completely off of the boat and it's just a shame that it's such a nice Yamaha 70 uh, needs to be rebuilt but what can you do but I tell you what the stand that it's sitting on it's a really nice stand if you guys are interested in purchasing a stand in the future I'm going to leave the company who makes them a link in the description of their website their name is Stern Master Marine Tools they make a bunch of different stands but uh I gotta go get my Yamaha 74 stroke. So here is the engine that's going to be going onto the flats boat. This is a Yamaha 74 stroke, very low hours. I mean, it's in really good condition. Uh, so before I actually install this engine, I'm going to polish the gel coat on the back of the transom because it's a lot easier to do it when the motor's off rather than having the motor on and trying to do it. So just finished the transom and it looks really good. Let me show you guys what it looked like before. And as you can see, you can't see anything. It's all chalky. Look at that. Got the motor hooked up and it looks really great. I still have to hook up the throttle cables and the harness, but I had the steering hooked up to it. Check that out got a new motor on here 
gonna be pretty excited when I'm done with this. All right, so we're gonna test fit the radio into the hole that we just cut. Look at that, fits perfectly. All right, I got my GPS and fish finder installed. This is the Garmin unit. Uh, it was kind of a pain uh, running the transducer cable through the middle of the hall up all the way to the console, but I finally got it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace uh, the water separator filter. And also I'm putting new, new fuel lines. I highly recommend that you guys inspect your gray fuel lines because a lot of times they have this liner in there. And as you can see, this thing could collapse and depending how old the fuel line is, I've seen the liners turn into like a paste and it will really screw up your whole uh, fuel system on the engine. So currently I have installed my brand new fuel lines. I have a brand new uh, water separator filter on there. And this motor hasn't been started for six months. So this is going to be a cold start. And I'm kind of curious if she'll fire right up, but she, she should fire right up. Look at that, wow. Let it run for a little bit. Might need a new water pump. Might be clogged up. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace the oil and the oil filter in the engine. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to be removing the lower unit because I'm going to be installing a new impeller because I have no clue when the impeller has been done in the lower unit. So it's a peace of mind and it's not a, too bad to do it at all. So we're going to get that done. So this is the old one that I just pulled out and here's the brand new one. Uh, I'm glad I took it off because this one is just gonna pump so much water rather than this one. As you can see, the fin's already bent on the impeller itself, so. So I have a new switch panel that I'm going to install right there. I have the old one out and I'm just gonna get my jigsaw and I'm just gonna make this hole a lot bigger in order to fit the new one back in. So I actually got a lot of stuff done. I got the radio completely installed, the speakers. I bought brand new navigation lights on both sides. I uh, hooked up the GPS fish finder. That's all hooked up. Control panel, everything works. So you can hear the bilge pump and the live hole pump kicking on. Uh, I just have to tidy up the wiring. And I'm also gonna fix the control box. I was gonna re replace it, but just gonna fix it. I got something loose in here. I guess the screw came unloose. This bowl right here just came loose, so just gonna tighten that up and put the control back box back on and we'll be ready to go. So now what I'm using is bleach in a bottle. I'm gonna spray it everywhere, let it sit for a little bit, and I'm gonna rinse her off.
So check this out. I just installed a new seat cushion. I had this thing custom built. It had one before, but I don't know what happened to it. It had the buttons and stuff. I guess it just ripped or something, but it, it's actually looking really nice. I have a fish tape ruler that's gonna go up here. And I also have a helm pad, the same color as this. That's gonna go right there. So I just finished polishing the gel coat and it looks really nice, look at that. So I just finished working on the boat and it's time to drop her in the water for a little sea trial. And I brought some poles or, so I'm gonna go fishing with it. I haven't really been fishing on the boats that I work on so I, I figured it'd be a great time to do a little fishing trip. But I'm pretty happy of how this boat turned out and I'm pretty excited to put this thing in the water. Yeah, it starts right up. It's nice to have a newer four stroke. It's quiet too. So, got the boat in the water. Everything is working smooth. Got my fish finder working. Motor's running excellent. Currently I'm running two six gallon fuel tanks. And also I have, I think it's three gallon portable tank just in case because I couldn't find a 12 gallon fuel tank that would work for me and I wanted to go out and do some little fishing on this, so. Just caught a snapper under this bridge. So I'm finding a little bit bigger um, mangrove snappers back here in the canals. Just using these shrimps and hopefully, you know, get some bigger ones. Got the boat on the trailer, and now it's time to go home and give her a good cleaning. 
Uh, but if you guys are interested in these types of videos, I'm going to have more boats coming up and I'm just going to be redoing them and giving them some TLC and putting them back on the water. So if you guys enjoy this type of content, please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Okay.